Hello, good morning everyone. Okay, today will be our video about uh, calculation of your exercise given. Okay, last week I have give you uh, the question about uh, on your textbook, page 69, question number 2, C, F, I, J, K and L. So, I ask you to do it on your uh, on your exercise book. M1 or M2, which one do you have? So, before we start, please take, take out your exercise book and let's check your answer. Okay? Okay, so you can uh, hold, hold this video by uh, push the pause button and after you're ready, you can play it again. Okay? Okay, so I start for number C. 3, 1 over 5 times 25. Okay, 3, 1 over 5 times 25. Okay, before we start, I would like to remind again about uh, uh, fraction. Okay, when you find, when you look the fraction like this, uh, for example, numerator and numerator and denominator with denominator, you, you need to multiply. Okay, numerator and numerator, denominator with denominator, you need to multiply. But if you look like this, numerator with denominator and de denominator with numerator like this, you need to divide. Okay, this one, both of this info. You okay, this is the calculation for C. Okay, 3, 1 over 5 times 25. Okay, first, you need to change this number into improper fraction first. Okay, so 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. 16 over 5 times 25. So, as I mentioned just now, if we look like this, kalau kita tengok menyerong macam ni, kita boleh uh, bahagi. Kita boleh bahagi. Tapi kalau kita tengok macam ni, lurus memanjang, kita darab. So, first we look, kita boleh kecilkan tak nombor ni dulu. So, 5 and 25 can divide by 5. Nombor 5 dengan nombor 25 ni boleh dibahagikan dengan 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. So, uh, so bawah ni dah tak ada eh. Over 1, 16 over 1 is equal to 16 eh. 16 over 1 is equal to 16. Times 5. Okay, 16 times 5, berapa jawapannya? 80. So, the answer is 80. So, this answer is 80. Okay, can you look it clear? Next, for F. Okay, can you look it? Okay, this is F. Question F. I... Okay, I need to use pencil. Okay. So, uh, I repeat it again. If you look like this, okay, if you look numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator, you need to multiply. But if you look numerator with denominator and denominator with numerator, you can divide. Okay, look at the question here. We can, uh, the, the number is uh, similar. Okay, we can find 4 and 8 in multiplication of 4 and 5 with 5 in multiplication of 5. So, we can divide 5 with 5. So, it become 1. 4 and 8 here, you divide 4 with 4 become 1 and 8 with 4 become 2. Okay. So, the answer is 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. This is the answer. Okay, so I, I write it down back for you to understand better. Okay, first you look for... Uh, how to write it down? Eh? 
okay you 4 over 5 times 5 over 8 okay you divide 5 here with 5 here because we look at like this right so 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1 so number become like this 4 over 1 times 1 over 8 and then we look at 4 and 8. 8 can divide by 4. Okay, 8 ni boleh bahagi dengan 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So, the number become 1 over 1 times 1 over 2. Like this. So, the number become smaller and it is easier for you to look like this. We cannot, we cannot look cross like this, right? Kita dah tak boleh dah nak tengok serong macam ni. So, kita tengok lurus sahaja. So, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Okay, that is the answer. This question is 5 over 6 times 1, 1 over 3. Okay, as you can see here is uh, proper fraction but here is mixed number. Okay, so we need to change this mixed number into improper fraction first for you, easier for you to look. Okay, tukar dulu nombor ini kepada pecahan tak wajar. So, uh, the question is 5 over 6 times 3 times 1 is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 over 3. Like this. Okay. So, you can see here, if you look at the cross, kalau you tengok serong macam ni, ah, tengok 5 boleh tak bahagikan dengan 3? No, cannot. 4 boleh tak bahagikan dengan 6? Cannot. Tapi boleh tak kecilkan nombor ini? Okay. Macam mana nak kecilkan? We can, because this is uh, even number, nombor bulat. Ini pun nombor bulat. So, we know that nombor bulat boleh uh, bahagi dengan 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is equal to? 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Okay. So, boleh lagi tak kita tengok serong macam ni? Uh, dah habis dah serong kita boleh tengok. So, kita tengok lurus sahaja. So, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Okay. Look at this answer. Okay. This answer is improper fraction. Okay, pecahan tak wajar. Jadi, you tak boleh leave your answer like this. You need to change your answer into mixed number. Okay, so how to change it? 10 divided by 9. So, 10 divided by 9, you got 1 and 9 here. 1 times 9 is 9. And then you subtract, become 1. So, your answer is... 1, 1 over 9. 1, 1 over 9. This will be your answer. Okay, the answer is 1, 1 over 9. Okay, next. J, 2, 1 over 2 times 6 over 7. Say, the question is same like this. Okay, you have... Uh, proper fraction and mixed number so easier for you to change this mixed number into improper fraction awak tukar dulu nombor bercampur ini kepada uh, pecahan tak wajar so 2 times 2 is equal to 4 and plus 1 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 over 2 times 6 over 7 ok First of all, you tengok dulu bah, uh, secara melintang macam ni. Okay, sebab kita nak kecilkan nombor. Senang untuk awak tengok nombor yang lebih kecil. Sebab itu, teacher setiap kali teacher buat teacher akan tengok dulu secara menyirung. Okay. Sekejap tak jelas lah. Okay. So, this is 5 and 7. Okay, as you know, this is prime number and this is prime number. We cannot divide prime number with any number. 
uh, accept one and the number itself. Okay, kita tak boleh bahagi lima dengan nombor lain selain satu dengan lima. Tujuh pun sama. Kita tak boleh bahagi satu, uh, kita tak boleh bahagi nombor lain selain nombor satu dengan nombor tujuh. But here you have six and two. Okay, both number is even number, number bulat. Okay, uh, so you can divide two with two and six with two. Okay, so two divided by two is equal to one. Six divided by two is equal to three. Right. Okay, ki jadi kita dah habis dapatan secara menyerong. So, kita tengok secara lurus macam ni. Okay, so five times three is equal to fifteen and one times seven is equal to seven. Okay, the answer here is improper fraction. Pecahan tak, wajah boleh ketinggal macam ni. Tak boleh. So, you need to change this number into max number. Okay, tukar nombor ini menjadi um, apa? nombor bercampur. So, 15 divided by 7. Okay, 7, 14 eh. 2. You have 2. 2 times 7 is 14. So, 15 minus 14 is equal to 1. So, the answer here is 2, 1 over 7. Okay, this is the answer. Part tak? Jelas tak? The answer is 2, 1 over 7. Okay. Okay. Pen teacher habis tak buat lah. Eh, ada pula. Okay, so I use pen after this. Okay, this is K. Okay, K. Um, is it for you to change this number into mixed number? Uh, apa? Mixed number first. Okay, senang untuk awak tukar dulu nombor ini kepada uh, nombor pe pecahan tak wajar. So, 8 minus 8. 8 times 1 plus 3. 8, sorry, 8 times 1 is 8. 9, 10, 11. So, 11 over 8 times 8 times 2 16 16 plus 7 23 over 8 crown nut okay so as you look the number here 23 is uh, what mm, prime number 23 is prime number 11 also prime number so Prime number over here. So, we cannot divide 8 with 11 or any number beside that. Okay, 8 tak boleh nak bahagikan dengan 11. 11 pun tak boleh nak bahagikan dengan 8 because 11 is prime number. 23 also we cannot look like this. 23 also prime number. So, you just solve it like this. Okay, tak boleh nak panjang serong. So, you panjang tegak sajalah. 11 times 23. What is the answer? I pun tak. Times 11. Berapa? 3 times 1. 3. 2 times 1. 2. 3 times 1. 3. 2 times 1. 2. 3. 5. 2. So, 3. Eh, sorry. Not 3 eh. 2. 2 eh. The answer is 2, 5, 3 over 8 times 8 is 64. Okay. Uh, boleh tak nak bahagikan ni? Boleh tak kita kecilkan nombor ini? Okay, before we got the number smaller, we change this number into mix number. Kita tukar dulu nombor ini menjadi uh, nombor bercampur. So, 253 divided by 64. Okay. Hmm, berapa lagi? 8 times 8 plus 4 2, 2 plus 4 6, 9 plus 6 and 5 1, 2 Oh, dah lebih. So, 1, 2, 3 192 3 minus 2, 1, 
So the answer is 361 over 64. Okay, so you look at this number 61 and 64. Uh, no number we can uh, there's no number that we can divide tak ada nombor lain yang kita boleh bahagi so this is the answer kita tak boleh bahagi this is not even number but this is even number so tak boleh bahagi dengan satu you tak boleh bahagi dengan dua eh you boleh bahagi dengan satu tapi satu kita tak nak lah kan so you tak boleh bahagi dengan dua you tak boleh bahagi dengan tiga so this is the answer okay so, this is your last question. 4, 3 over 7 times 1, 7 over 10. First of all, you change this number into improper fraction. Okay, tukar dalam pecahan tak wajar. 7 darab 4, 28, 29, 30, 31, 31 over 7 times 10, plus, 10 times 1, 10 plus 7 is 17 over 10. So, this is prime number. This is also prime number. Tak boleh nak bahagi. 10 dengan 31 pun tak boleh nak bahagi. So, you just look like this. Okay. Kita tak boleh nak darab silang. So, kita tengok macam ini saja. So, 31 times 17. Berapa? Hmm, teacher pun tak tahu. Times 17. Kita times lah dekat sini. Eh. 1 times 7. 3 times 7, 21, 1 times 1, 1, 3 times 3, 3 times 1, 3, 7, 2, 5, okay, 527 times, uh, over, 7 times 10 uh, is 70, okay, then we change this number back into mixed number, tukar balik nombor ini menjadi uh, nombor bercampur, Divide by 70. Okay. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. Okay, nanti belakang ni letak je kosong, 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 kosong. 42, 49, 56 and so on. Okay, but why I stop it here? Because I look it, this is 52. Okay, 52, so 56 is uh, bigger than 52. So, first you look 5 can divide by 7? Cannot. 5 is smaller than 70. Apa dia cakap ni? Boleh tak 5 bahagi dengan 70? Tak boleh, sebab 5 lebih kecil daripada 70. So, we look at 52. 52 also smaller than 70. 52 juga lebih kecil daripada 70. So, we look all the numbers. So, 527 divided by 70. The nearest is 490. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, answer here is 7. 490 minus... 7, 6, 4. This is 12. 3. So, this this will be the mixed number. 7, sorry. 37 over 70. Okay. Ha, boleh kecilkan lagi tak? 37 dengan 70 ni. Okay, tak boleh. Okay, 37 tak ada nombor yang sama yang boleh bahagi dengan 70. So, this is the answer. Okay. Uh, okay, that's all for today. Okay, hope you are not are not giving up with this question. Harap awak tak tension tak apa? Uh, tak tertekan dengan soalan pecahan ini. Okay, har teacher harap sangat awak suka dengan soalan uh, darab pecahan. Okay, that's all for today. Goodbye.